Okay, so now let's allow the user to sign out. For and for that, let's go to the user screen, which is will be in the screens. So here, and uh, now let's uh, see the logout. So here for this function, we need to pass in the auth dot or uh, auth instance, and we call the sign out to it. And now we start the application and try to sign out. Let's see. Press here, press OK, and it should work just fine. Here it is. It's print. Uh, it printed this, and now let's test these buttons. And I got an error, which is uh, better than we got before. This is good. Let's press here. Here it's working fine. I got this dialog where it shows that no user is signed in yet. Let's try this button. This button is working fine. And uh, for the view, let's make sure. And this one also, it's working fine. And let's go to the view. Try press here and it's working fine. So we got only one error, which is for this one. Perfect. So uh, what I'm getting as an error. So let's go to the heart button and let's see what's what's wrong. So let's go to the heart button here and there is something wrong with this one. Okay, so I think what's wrong because I'm printing the ID here. We don't have an ID, so I will start the application after removing that line and let's see if it will work. Try now. Yeah, and now it worked. So it was just because of uh, this line. We can print it only if the user is uh, is already logged in. So we can print it here. Yeah, and I got an error about this null check because I already make it here. So it will not be null here anymore. We're already returning if the user is null. I will uh, comment that. And now I will do more things so now we don't have to show logout we do, we can show something different as log n for example and when the user log out i want to take him to the login screen so we can navigate to that sc screen also so let's go to the user screen and instead of this logout here we can check if the user is null So if the user is null, we show log n, or uh, yeah, we show him log n. And if this is the case, we need to pass in another method. We don't have to let him sign out. So we also need to do a check if the user is null or not. So if the user is null, we need to navigate to the log n screen. So let's uh, do it like this to allow him to navigate to the login screen, but if not, we need to allow the user to log out like this. Now let's uh, try it, restart the application, see how it works. Okay, try this button, it's working, try this button, it's also working. Let's go to this page and now we are showing the login. And I want to do one more thing is that to show a different icon here. Let's show him the login icon. So uh, call it like this. Now save it. And I should see a different icon here, as you can see. Now press on it. Oops, still getting this one. So something seems wrong. Yes, so what I'm doing wrong is in here, this F statement should not be inside of the dialog. We need to show it outside of this dialog. So I will cut this F statement and type it here. And now it should work. So I will save this file and now try to log in. And here it is, it took me to the login screen. Now let's try to register and see how it would work. So let's uh, type in anything, try anything to register. So 
I'm gonna use this dummy data and try any shipping address and try to sign up now and here it is it took me to this page when it finishes the sign up perfect so uh, now let's try to add something to the wish list it's working fine here it is now let's go to this page and try something else there's something wrong where it's still showing the login in here so let's press on it and yep it's still showing the login okay so let's go back and what's what's wrong is that we have this user in here and this user is coming from the file from here and this user is still empty because it didn't get notified so we need to manage it in such a way just like we were updating our card our wish list or something like this but for this moment i will just comment it and try to make it in a different way so in here we can just initialize it again so what i'm gonna do is to initialize it up in here so we can initialize it here for example so i'm gonna say final user and i will name it also user and say equal to the auth instance dot current user so like this and of course we need to import now the firebase auth and now if i restart the application and i will test everything again to make sure that it's working fine so let's make sure that the user is logged in yeah he is let's go to the user screen here it is it's showing the logout let's try to log out and after the user that he log out i want to take him to the login screen or we need to refresh this page but when he log out it would be better if we took him if we take him to the login screen so what i'm gonna do is actually copy the login method and paste it after the sign out so in here it's a future so we can await it so let's add a sync keyword here let's await it here and now here let's navigate to the login screen now i will restart the application one more time and go to the user screen here it is we can log in okay so let's try to sign up now let's fill up the information i will use a different email here to avoid the errors and fill up the other informations and try to register now let's go to the user screen and in here it shows logout perfect so if i want to add something to my wallet it's working fine and now if i try to log out it will take me to this page and now if i continue as a guest we didn't implement it yet so i will just add this method to it so let's go to the login screen so here and let's see continue as a guest and paste our function here and put the bottom bar screen in here and now save it try it again and when i went to this page it's still in my cart it is fine let's try to add something yeah i'm getting an error of course uh, it's it's normal because the, uh, when i added this it is it is locally so it's totally fine when it is like this later on when we do it on the firebase it will be totally different we will fetch it again and uh, the results will be different so no, now i cannot do anything to it or uh, we can just empty and call the method we can call the provider and empty with the wishlist for example but it's not necessary for now because later on we will implement it using the firebase and as you can see when i navigate as a guest when i press again on it i cannot access it we will get this error now if i go to the user screen i'm getting everything correctly here and now i got this login instead of the logout so if i try to log in or create something else again a new account it will appear as log out in here so everything is working just fine and i strongly recommend you to test it and try to implement it 
after finishing this tutorial and I hope that everything become clearer.